Hi, Dave Snyder here. It is the sixth night of April 2016, and I just got some cool uh, weather stuff to show you here. Let me show you some weather stuff here. Come on. Okay, some weather stuff right here in Africa right now. See this big spot right here? That's an awesome spot right there. I was able, I mean, I've just been slapping things up on top of this, stacking up continents with this picture. Beautiful. Earlier it was actually better, I think. And I saved an image of it earlier. And here it is. I overlaid it over South America because if you look at the picture there, you see this, right? And you see this, right? You can just kind of see it. The shape is the same. So you take this. And I know they say that South America was broken off the edge. It's perfect fit, but I never could get it to fit perfect. I don't care. I don't, you can try it. I don't think you can do it. You can make it fit perfect. It doesn't fit. But this weather here in Africa most certainly fits over South America, just right where it is, right there in that spot. So what's that tell us? I, I mean, that's telling us something right there. That big spot of weather right there tells us something really important, I think. And that's the fact that the continents were created from a big volcanic opening like that. All right? So let's check that out. I think I overlaid it right here. Over South America. Just over South America is all I did is line it over here. Just like this. See where the line comes across? You see this up here? You see where the pink part starts? You can see the Amazon. You can see the Amazon right in the middle, and you can see that you can see that that's the same thing, All right? Again, pretty interesting. Look at that! Look at the Gulf of Mexico right there. The way they show it right there—that's crazy. I'm going to show you something else right now. Whoa! Put it right at the tip of the Yucatan too. This has been a move. They've moved over a lot of different configurations. I don't want to get anybody confused on that. So I'm going to put North America down on this in a minute. Okay, so I did this first. Put this over this. And then I, I just copied a lunar south pole up here. And I just threw it up because I know this uh, right here. This Schrodinger, uh, the Schrodinger crater, this crater here, this, and I, I, it might be a little bit too big, but I just threw it down real quick. And I, I lined it over that weather spot. I didn't really put it over South America. I just put it over this weather that I showed you here. I lined it to this. But I also know that this uh, that Schrodinger also goes in South Africa some over there too. So, it doesn't, but I lined it like this, and I can see this looked like this crater was here. took away, I lined that to this, and then I looked at that over South America, it was a pretty decent fit, then what did I do, I brought up uh, the Oriental, so that, how that goes with that, I aligned this to this picture, right, just this crater to this picture right here, Line the weather picture, just like that, okay, and then I took, fell into place. I'm just going where they fell into place. I wish I would have done it, you know, step by step on the video, but I actually did try to do that earlier, but anyways, uh, that was pretty cool. I just ended up like that, and then check the weather and stuff. Live weather, look at that. see how it fits in there, look at that. I didn't try that earlier. Look at that, see that? That's just how it ends up fitting on it. Look at that. This is the, so nice. There's that crater right there, see that? That pretty right below it, right here. Same size. 
size, you can see it's the same size, just a little bit off. But look how it fills that in right there, that's really nice. You see it, look at it, it's, right, it's all inside there, just right up to the line, perfect. Okay, so that's great. So that's in the right place. So we got this weather. Ooh, at Center Africa fitting right there. This is a big pile up right here. We're going to pile them up. Okay, so then I brought up, what did I bring up? I brought up uh, Antarctica. And I aligned it to this, turn off the weather. See how I did that? Kind of lined it like that a little bit. I just aligned it to this weather, I swear. I just put it with this weather, you see like this edge here. And then that lined up real good. See that? These are all pictures from totally different places. And uh, then I checked that out over, well then I kept going actually. I wanted to put the North America on top of this and here's that. This is the uh, one I put up here. And I lined it like that, right? See that? Now watch. What happens when I take away that and that? in the place, this center of North America right here, weather, this is how the weather used to look nice, a lot nicer anyway, not like that shit right here, look, look at this, what would you rather have, this, or that, no definition, it's all scattered, or like this, just some, at least some, you know, they give you some different difference between the, you know, the contrast, there's some contrast between the lines there, it's not just like that other picture, it's just ridiculous, this one here, but, uh, you know, at least I was able to notice it, I mean, you can't, this spot is all over the earth, if you see this in the weather, this is what, this, you know, it's mo for sure, it's definitely this one, every time it'll definitely be that one, I mean, you see that oval shape right there with the spot in the middle especially, it's got the oval, like this, I don't even see that, it's fit right in there. Any, any of this, any picture of this crater will fit over it. And it's got to, got to make it big. And it'll fit perfect, it'll put the puzzle together just like I just showed you, look at this. Look at that, that fell into place on its own like that by lining up the other stuff. Whoa, that's, that's a nice fit. It's right in there, perfect. Right here you see the whole shape. Right in there. So we've got North America, South America, Africa, and Antarctica. Let's see how this fits over Antarctica right here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, you can totally see this right here. Watch. this stuff right right now for the first time basically with, I mean this looks like it goes right up here actually you could probably turn this actually it probably would fit better but it, it, it's got it'll do this every time look at that where it put that V right in place look at that see that wow right here interesting all right well you know I, I say this because I'm just trying to point out that you know the Planet X is right there, and it's been with us this whole time, and people don't look at it, want to be like a, I don't know, don't want to acknowledge that, I don't know if it's a bad thing or whatever, but I don't, you know, I don't look at it that way myself, it's something that happens, I'm not going to look at it in a bad way, I just, you know, I think it's good to know, myself. So. The moon is Planet X. There's no two suns in the sky, just the moon and the stars flying by.